What's up, YouTube? My name is Clickwit, and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. And today, guys, we are doing a little bit of an update. This is directly from EA Sports Madden Ultimate Team. In case you guys didn't see it on Twitter this morning, they actually tweeted out that they are doing a promotion this weekend for Mutt Weekend like they've been doing throughout the year. But this one is one of the best ones that they've done all year, and it's going to help us finish some of these positional collections that have been... Like I said last week, almost impossible to do. They introduced a bunch of cards last week that were, you know, very, very rare for these collections. And now they introduced the rest of them that will certainly help us get these collections done. The things that they're actually bumping the odds on and putting back into packs are football outsiders cards. And those were, man, some of those were extremely limited uh, like this Luke Keekly one that you see here on the screen. This card is still one of the more expensive cards in the game, and it's been out, you know, for quite some time. So it's, although it doesn't, it's not even really that great of a card anymore, it's needed for some of these collections, and it's definitely hard to, to come by. So this is great because we're now able to get these in packs again, and it's going to help us finish those collections. Then they're also putting back into packs the Team of the Week cards. And <laughs> if you guys saw my tweet earlier today, I asked, what the hell is a Team of the Week card? Well, that's because I pretty much started playing Madden Ultimate Team after the NFL season was over. So by the time that I started playing Madden Ultimate Team, all the Team of the Week cards, for the most part, were already out of packs. So I barely ever even saw them unless I somehow came across them on the auction block. Um, and so, yeah, so I guess Team of the Week, like I said... Uh, I didn't really know what they were, but they're actually they, the weekly cards that they came out with that were fantasy uh, from, I think it was all the way from week one all the way through the Super Bowl, if I remember correctly, but at least weeks one through 17. And so those are now introduced back into packs, and those were definitely some of the rarer cards to get so that you could put them into your collection and get your positional collections done. I know, for example, this Navarro Bowman card that you have on your screen right now, that is the rarest card, the most expensive card, I believe. I'm, I'm like 99% sure that's the, the most expensive card in the Patrick Willis Sparkle Collection. So definitely, if you pull that, you might be able to finish off your Sparkle Patrick Willis Collection and get one of the most beastly middle linebackers in the entire game. Patrick Willis is an absolute beast, so I... I definitely recommend pulling some packs and trying to get that done if you have not already completed it. Then the last thing is that they are also putting in the final edition cards and the free agency cards. So those, although they're not really for the positional collections, the uh, final editions themselves also have some nice rewards and it's good to see those back into packs because I know a lot of those pe those cards are pretty much impossible to come by at this point because so many people were collecting them to get the, the final edition card uh, of their choosing toward the end of the year here. And then the free, agent, uh, the free agent cards are actually, a lot of them are really, really good cards. Like the Arthur Jones that I, uh, I explained in my previous video on defensive ends a couple of days ago, that card is actually really nice and it's good that it's going to be back into packs along with some of these other free agent cards because it's been very hard to come by some of these and as I've been putting them in my budget squad I've kind of had to be like thinking in the back of them in my mind is it easy enough to come by these cards to even put them into my video because although they're cheap for the most part in price sometimes you can't even find them so you know that's been something that I've been kind of wrestling with myself but this will help me with the budget series going forward because the odds of people having these cards is going to go up significantly and we're going to be able to see a lot more of them on the auction block. So there's going to be a lot better cards for the budget squad going forward in the next few days. Now, the last thing that they're actually going to be doing is that they put legend packs back into the game and legend bundles as well. So obviously to get a legend bundle, you do have to buy those with dollars or you know whatever currency that you have. Um, unfortunately, you cannot buy bundles with coins still in Madden 25 Ultimate Team, which you know we're all we're beyond that at this point. It's not really worth discussing. But if you do end up buying a legend pack with cash, you are actually also going to get a topper for your legend bundle, and that is going to contain an ultimate legend card. So the odds are 
that you're going to get a pretty nice card. You could even potentially pull a Barry Sanders, a Jerry Rice, uh, a Deion Sanders, a, a Night Train Lane, something like that. So these are very, very valuable cards. Most likely you're going to get something garbage, like an offensive lineman or something stupid like that. But, you know, there's always the odds, the, the possibility in the odds at least, that you could get something really, really epic with your Legend Bundle. So I'm looking forward to seeing if Mikey Sweats, my buddy Mikey Sweats, pulls any Legend Bundles this weekend because I want to see what kind of stuff he pulls as his Legend uh topper at the end of the uh of the at the end of the pack so with that being said guys i hope that this video is informative i know it was a little bit long but i wanted people to be aware if in case they don't follow twitter i know a lot of people leave comments and on my pink slips videos and things like that and they always ask what can i do if i don't have twitter well unfortunately you can't really do much in that case but at least I can provide you guys with some of the information that you might not get unless you were a Twitter follower of EA Sports Mutt. So thank you guys so much for, for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe because we are going to be putting out tons of Madden 25 Ultimate Team content still before the next game comes out. And then once Madden 15 comes out, man, you're going to see videos up every single day as, as much as I can do it anyway. So thank you guys again so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.